Josie Lanzi. Welcome back to Off the Hook on the Plate. It's a super steamy one out here today, so I'm going to make sure that we load up that cooler with as much water and food that it can hold. So we can head out there and spend several hours catching that fresh catch of the day and bringing it back here and create yet another Off the Hook recipe. I can't wait to find out what it is. So let's get fishing so we can come back here and get cooking. Another beautiful day, it's fairly calm, so it's gonna be a good fishing day. Hope we bring home the catch of the day. Well, we're here, it's a little bit choppier than we thought, uh, but that's not gonna stop us. We got plenty of uh, squid and sardines and we got live pin fish. So we're ready to fish, let's get fishing run of the day but it's a little small so I'm gonna put that one back. You can always count on the grunts. I guess we'll bring you home fresh catch of the day today. <laughs> there Brent. Oh first first group of the day. Let me see. Let me see. Let me check it out. Oh yeah that's pretty. Way too little. Gotta go back. Pretty though. Oh we got a few grunts going on here. Nice size one. Not bad to start. I'm gonna send down a little pinfish here and try to get me a grouper keeper this time. Take a look at this. Nice little red, but it's too small, so we gotta put it back. Nice. Well, we're heading home with a cooler. You half full of grunts, and they're the big, big ones. So uh, we got a catch of the day going home today, and I'm gonna show you how to make another off the hook fish recipe. Okay, everyone, I have here two beaten eggs uh, with a little sea salt and approximately 12 small white grunt fillets. And you can use tilapia or whichever white fish you'd like. And today we're going to create yet another off the hook recipe. We're going to make a super easy fish poor boy sandwich. So let's get started. Is add your fish fillets to the egg and you want to coat them really well. What I have here in a bowl is what I call my perfect fried fish batter. It's a crispy batter and it's a dry batter. It consists of one part potato flakes, one part Ritz cracker, one part breadcrumbs, your favorite. You want to mix it well together and now it's time to coat our fish that's been soaking in the egg mixture. You want to make sure you coat it very well it'll keep the moisture inside and this is going to create the most fantastic crunch it's going to be fabulous you want to do this shake the excess and do this for all of them I have here in a frying pan about half an inch of oil it's been heating so it's perfect right now and you want this fairly hot when you add your fish because that will help seal that crust and keep it nice and crusty and super moist in the inside. So you might want to do this in a couple batches. I know I will have to. So you're going to let the fish cook about three minutes on the first side. Okay, it's actually been four minutes. Uh, I can see that it's turning golden around, so it's time to turn the fillets. Be careful. And look at this golden crispy color. It is perfect. These are going to be fabulous for a fish poor boy. Turn them and let it cook an additional three minutes. Okay, you want to take the fish out and be careful not to splatter and place this on a paper plate to let the excess fat drain. Okay, next you want to take a sharp cheddar cheese. So I have an extra sharp cheddar cheese. I want to put a slice of that. Here I have some dill pickle slice. You want to put approximately, depending on the side of your buns, seven to eight of them. You want to make sure you get a bite of pickle in every bite you take. Next, you want to top with a few fish fillets. Just like so. Top with the bun. And voila, you have a fantastic fish poor boy. And voila, you have a super easy fish poor boy that your entire family is going to love. Bon appétit, everyone. Super fun fishing day, and I was so excited to share this recipe with you today. 
and many much more to come in the future. So stay tuned every week and join me for another off the hook, on the plate recipe. Bye everyone.